everybody what's going on just a quick update it looks like robert kennedy jr has actually gained some momentum in the polls so let's uh, have a look at this video here it's just a quick little short and then we'll talk about it like after uh, we'll talk about it after like usual now at 19 percent nationwide this is post debate uh, prior to the debate that same poll had me at about 14 percent so i've had a five point bump since then it also has me at 38 percent among independent voters so the Gallup poll that came out two weeks ago shows that independent voters, now 51% of the electorate, only 23% identify as Democrat, 25% as Republicans. If I win those voters, I can win the election. 33% of Gen Z are now supporting me, 28% of Hispanic voters, 19% of black voters are supporting me, and 90% overall. Four months to election day, and the momentum is on our side. I hope you all had a great Independence Day weekend. Let's gear up for the revolution. God bless you all, and God bless our country. Yeah, and you know that that's great news to hear because you know I was he hearing he was hovering kind of around 10, 15 points nationally, which I do think he would do better than that because most independents, in my opinion, do not take polls. Um, so I think he's going to have a higher turnout than just fifteen to twenty percent. Sorry, the ten to fifteen percent. But now that he's creeped up to 19% after that ridiculous debate the other day or the other week, you know, momentum is on his side, like you said. And, you know, he's, he's got 31% of the independents, 19% of the black vote, 33% uh, of Gen Z, which is very interesting. And he's, he's had a recent bump of five points within the, the last you know, two weeks or so. So this is, this is good news, right? Now, again, as I said, I think he's going to uh, outperform. Like right now, he's at 19% overall. I think he will achieve more than that. If he can start to pull within the mid twenties, I think he's actually going to get more than that. Like I think he's going to overperform on the polls. Basically, is what I'm saying. Some political uh, candidates have done that in the past, like Donald Trump. He was at a one percent chance when he first announced he was running in 2015, and then look what happened, right? Like he just he just kept rising and rising and rising. So you never know, right? Um, it, could Robert Kennedy outperform the polls quite like Trump? I don't think to that level, but if he outperforms them by five to ten points, especially if it's ten points, which is huge, I mean, there's a good chance that he would, you know, win the election. Now, whether that's whether someone like Robert Kennedy would ever be allowed to step in the White House is a whole other conversation uh, and a whole other topic that I'm definitely not going to be getting into on YouTube. But either way. Um, you know, if he can just continue to gain some momentum and, you know, maybe find a, find a way to get into the next debate on September 10th against Trump and Biden, or if they just go at it again and they embarrass themselves some, some more and Biden can't speak and Trump's talking about golf and shit like that, maybe he rises up again. Now, that being said, as we get closer to elections, people usually kind of switch from being, you know, to maybe voting from a third party back to the Republicans or Democrats because they get fear mongered into thinking that the other one is worse than the other to the point where democracy is going to be destroyed. And I'm not saying that, you know, there isn't a, a big issue with Trump or Biden being president because there is a big issue with that. That being said, I'm not so scared of like a lot of people are like, they, they don't like Trump, but they'll vote for him because they hate Biden so much or they're scared of Biden so much. And there's people who maybe don't like Biden too much, but they'll vote for him to keep Trump out of office because they're scared of him. And they think that, you know, voting for Robert Kennedy is kind of like a vote for who they don't want to win, which is a coward ass way of voting. But since America is the land of the free and the home of the brave, and for those of you who are brave and who want to actually who want to actually vote for the candidate that you think could win, or who would actually be the best for the America, the country of America, Robert Kennedy Jr. is the best choice. If the Democrats were so evil, they would just get Robert Kennedy as a Democrat to run against Trump and he would win. Which is kind of funny, right? Because the, the DNC and the Democratic, uh, a lot of their supporters will say, you know, well, Trump, we got to do anything to get Trump out, anything to keep out Trump. It's like, well, you had a Democrat in your own party named Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and he had changed the rules so much, not allowing him to really win the primaries, he had to leave. Why? why? If this is about getting out Donald Trump, why would they not push Robert Kennedy? Because they hate Robert Kennedy even more. And that should tell you something. That should tell you something. When they offered Trump Secret Service protection and Trump a debate, sp a debate stage, but not Robert Kennedy, who do you think they hate more?
The Democrats aren't good, they're evil. The Republicans aren't good, they're evil. If you want good, you want Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. If you're thinking about voting for him, am, am I convincing you to more to vote for him? Or am I convincing you to you know vote for someone else? Am I doing a good job or a bad job here uh, in terms of um, you know convincing people who are my American friends and followers to vote for Robert Kennedy? But I hope that a lot of you who listen to this are going to vote for Robert F. Kennedy and take a stand and let's have the biggest political upset that we've ever seen in the, at least recent American history. Thanks so much for watching, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.